In this worked example, we're going to calculate the age of the universe. Now we're going to assume that we're in a universe which is matter dominated, which means that the scale factor is equal to time over the t naught to the two thirds power, as we derived in class. Now by itself that doesn't tell us how old the universe is because we don't know what t naught is. To get that, we'll use the fact that we know the current expansion rate of the universe, Hubble's constant, which is pretty close to 70 kilometers per second per megaparsec, as we'll see later in this course. So let's use these two facts to work out how old the universe is. The way we're going to do it is by using the fact that Hubble's constant, as we derived, is equal to a dot over a at the present. So a dot is the rate of change of a. So a dot equals dA by dt, by definition. So we need to differentiate this. Well, we've got a constant, which is just 1 over t naught to the 2 thirds. So we take that out. So now we've got t to the 2 thirds, which we need to differentiate. When you differentiate anything to some power, you take the index down the front and subtract one off it. So this is equal to 2 thirds t to the 2 thirds minus 1, which is minus a third. OK, so that's a dot. Now we need h naught equals a dot over a. So that's going to be 1 over t naught to the 2 thirds, 2 thirds t to the minus 1 third all over a, which is t over t naught to the two thirds. So the t naughts to the minus two thirds cancel, and that comes out as two over three, one over t. So we can now work out what t is, the time right now. So we end up with t equals 2 over 3 h naught. Okay, so that's great. We have a calculation for the age of the universe. To actually put numbers in, we're going to have to convert h naught from kilometers per second to megaparsec into something more sensible. So multiply by a thousand to convert to meters per second. And then we have to divide by a million to convert to a parsec and divide by the length of a parsec, which is 3.08 times 10 to the 16 meters. So if you do all that, it turns out that Hubble's constant in SI units is 2.27 times 10 to the minus 18 per second. That's meters per second per, sec per meter, so the meters cancel out. And if we plug that in here, we get a time in seconds, convert that to years, and it comes out as 9.3 billion years. And when this calculation was first done, that was a worry, because we knew that there were some things in the universe, particularly old white dwarf stars, that were actually considerably older than this. So we seemed to have a universe that was younger than some of the stars in it. So that was telling us there was something wrong with the idea that we had a matter-dominated uh, universe with a flat geometry. And we'll find out what was wrong later.